Hello and welcome to the Deadheads game. So first of all, Deadheads is currently in the soft launch mode. What that means is that only a limited amount of countries has access to it. You can download game either on the iOS App Store or on the Google Play Store. On the left you can see the video from my iPhone. So I will start download there. And while it's downloading, I will show you a couple interesting things on the Play Store. So uh, there is this guy, MLG Azrael, who said like a really good comment. I don't this game should be on the market. The game's aspect sucks. And whenever you move, your screen starts moving. This is terrible. What game does it? It's like nonsense, right? So like screen should not move when you move. Okay, um, keep reading. I figured that the game is bad and isn't a fun game to play if I were to rate it. The game is also like Pixel Gun 3D mixed with Halo 3 to make whatever the hell it is. I rate the game too, because of the lack of gameplay that it has and how the game shouldn't be pretty much a good game, but the only thing I like about the game is how stupid it is and how it mixes two games to make one. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points and may God have mercy on your soul. If that did not scare you off, then you can actually install it on your phone or tablet, either on Android or on iOS. You can check the list of countries here. It's just, so most of them are um, East Asia and South America, but also we have launched in Canada, in uh, New Zealand and in Australia. So the Asia Pacific region right here, you can read and I hope you will find your country in here. And as for the Americas, you can check this long list over here. If you don't see your country, that's fine, it's not the end of the world. You can always go to the deadheadsgame.com and just register for the beta. And you can play with uh, all the players on the App Store. The only difference between uh, these two versions, between the beta version and the released version, is that in the beta you cannot use in-app purchases. But this does not stop you from playing and all your, um, all your progress will be transitioned to the game when it's on the store, so you're not losing anything. You just need to type in your email address and all your progress is saved. Alright, um, now it's time to get into the game. First thing, the game requires internet connection. So without internet you would not be able to play. This is because game is online multiplayer game and we really need you to be online to play it. It does have a single player mode, but it's more for practice at the moment. We still need to save your progress and we need to track it and we need to compare that everything is basically under control. So for that, we need to keep you online. And when I'm saying we, um, I'm part of Simeon and I have spent three years um, with guys to work on this game. But this channel is like not related to Simeon. I am from development team, but this channel has like no affiliation basically. It's just my opinion and everything I'm saying is purely my opinion. As a player, I can also give you some insight as a developer. Okay, give a name to your account. This will just treat you as a guest. To keep your progress saved, you better link your email. So you can play as a guest, it's fine. But uh, if you delete your game, then all the progress will be lost. So <laughs> be warned about that. I go to the account and then I will enter my email. After that, I will receive um, email where I have to confirm uh, my account basically. Okay, I've got an email and then I press verify. It will tell me successfully verified. And now I'm ready to press continue. And uh, 
this account has some progress, but this account I have started freshly. So he doesn't have like any developer console or anything. This is game for them from the App Store and it doesn't have any cheats for developers. So I'm just playing like you got. Uh, uh, balance like here on top right corner there is my credits there are my credits I, I only have 13 at the moment and my thorium is at zero just because recently I have purchased some skins however um, if you look at this craze at the left so if you win matches you will earn crates and crates take some time to unlock and you can unlock only one crate at a time so currently I'm unlocking Golden Crate and it says that it will take 3 hours to unlock. Usually Golden Crate is 8 hours to unlock, but this one takes 3 hours and also you can see the red 20 credits. So to open it I need 20 credits, but I don't have them. Luckily I have free crate ready to open. Every 4 hours you will receive a free crate. So I will open one now. And in free crate you will get some thorium, like here I've got 21, and I will also get some credits, so I've got 20 just now. Also I get cards, so there are cards for characters, for weapons, for skins, and these are basically your main reasons to, um, to upgrade stuff. So I've got two cards of Jericho Starburst, it's a rifle, and you can see that now I'm level 5. To reach next one I need to collect 50 cards. I already got 37. And one more, I've got one magma skin. I need 40 uh, cards to unlock it and I already have 9. Okay, cool. So I have 33 credits and I can spend 20 to unlock this golden crate. Let's do that now. So I open now and let's see what I can get this time. Okay, some thorium. Um, golden and silver crates do not give you credits, they only give you thorium and they give you cards. So to get credits you only unlock free crates. You can also purchase them on the market, but yeah. Um, for... okay, so we've got one arctic camo, we've got one reflex for IDD soldier and we've got four cards for the hunter magnum. So you can see now I have 53 out of 50, so it means I can upgrade my Hunter Magnum. If I go to the inventory, these are all stuff I have unlocked. I'm level 42 at the moment, that's why I have everything unlocked. But um, some weapons I have leveled up, some I didn't bother. So you can see that Hunter Magnum has this green indication, it means I can upgrade it, but it costs 2000 Thorium and my Thorium is 83. So I don't have enough to upgrade it, so I will just skip it for now. As for the characters, there are four. There is no difference except visual. Later there will be character specializations, so some characters will be better with some weapons, some will have more HP, some will move faster, that kind of stuff. But it's in the future updates. Um, here at the top you can see the equipped. This is my loadout. So I have two weapons. One is primary Jericho Star and another one is Savage SG. This is a shotgun, very powerful at close range. It's one shot, one kill. I also have a frag grenade. I can equip C4, but C4 is more of a defensive weapon, a uh, defensive kit rather. So uh, they both have their like benefits and some other stuff. So frag grenade is you can use it more frequently, and if you hit exactly at the enemy, it will deal 100 damage. And they have actually quite quite fast cooldown, so you don't have to wait for a long time to. Um, to get a new one. With the C4 the cooldown is a little bit slower so it takes longer to recharge but you can put two C4s and they will be lying there and if somebody goes nearby then they will explode. Um, Alright, I will start unlocking another crate. This time it's silver one, it will take only three hours. And meanwhile I will just go to the multiplayer. Okay, we have an open team deathmatch. That's fine. Okay, we have a dead shot. Let's see if there will be any other people willing to join. If no, it's fine. I mean, 
the game is relatively young, so not too many players, but uh, on both on both servers, there are very good chances you will meet some somebody to play with. Let's see how good this dead shot is. Um, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of uh, <laughs> Jericho rifle and shotgun. Shotgun is a very powerful weapon, but it does not have any sort of aim assist or anything, so it's quite challenging to play with. And as for Jericho, I don't know, it's, it's, some people really like it, but I personally not a big fan of it. Alright, so I have just realized that I have an old hardware. Okay, get rid of this guy. So what happened just now, I have picked up double damage. And I have threw a grenade at him. Okay, there is door, I can shoot at it, and then I'm already ready to throw a grenade. And kill this guy. He's not that great, but I'm pretty low on health, so it's a good time for me to go and get some health packs. And there should be one more somewhere here, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we are back to 100 health. So now let's see if we can find that guy. Seems he doesn't want double damage. I also did not see him come out, so he's probably somewhere here. Alright, he's here. So he has no chance. Yeah, Jericho is quite uh, quite good, but it also takes some uh, practice to... Okay, he got me. I actually wanted to try and get him with a sword. I will try that again. When you equip sword, you switch to this third person mode. But sword is obviously a melee, so... So I have to be close. <laughs> Seems he is a little bit afraid of me. And for a good reason. That he does not dare to come closer. So... I will come closer instead. Okay. Careful, 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 careful! No! Okay, he got me again. He's quite quite good with um, Saber Twins, those two pistols. Quite, quite well. But, yeah, Jericho is a little bit more powerful, so I think Saber Twins, they deal like 25 damage or something like that. Yeah, it, that was easy, but uh, obviously my... My rifle is a little bit more powerful than his Jericho's, Jer uh, than his Saber Twins. Saber Twins is a close range pistols. That's okay. So that was a team deathmatch mode. And uh, there are four main modes. So the Mayhem, team deathmatch, elimination and infection. So in Mayhem you just shoot everything. There are some um, NPCs and you can basically fight ag against NPCs and against other players. It's... <laughs> the mode uh, name speaks for itself, it's a mayhem. Just everything tries to kill you and you're trying to kill everything, so... It's pretty fun. I have switched server to the US East. Um, the downside is that you can see my ping now is 200 or 300. It will be hard to play, but still playable. Because on the Singapore it's almost 1 a.m. Well, it's half past 12 a.m. So people are probably sleeping, even if it's Saturday. Okay, let's have one more. This is a mayhem mode. So remember, I just have to shoot at everything I can score. Like these are computer enemies, like AI. I have picked up double speed. So now I'm moving much faster and now I just need to find some players to kill. Got this one. He probably was confused what happened there. There should be one more speed up here. Saber is a very powerful weapon. It deals 100 damage so if you're playing against other people it's instant, instant kill. But you have to get close, obviously, so that's the tricky part. And luckily in this game, in this map, there are a couple speed pickups, so I can move faster. Okay, that's another player, we got him. 
and we are ready for another speed cut. Let's see if we can spot any more players. Okay, this guy again. Get him, get him, get him. No! Okay, I guess that speed was too fast for me. Right, let's go and see if we can catch any more aliens or human players. I can see that one guy got dropped. If you can see the uh, other players, they have different characters unlocked. That means they are not a noobs in this game. So the robot is the last character you unlock, so if you can see somebody's playing as a robot, it means they have spent enough time in this game, so you have to watch out. Same true for character skins. We got some aliens. Another speed pickup. Okay, bye. <laughs> more at the top you can see there is a score bar so I have to get 3,000 3,000 score I'm at 2,150 let me show the shotgun it's like a really powerful gun you can see I, I dealt almost 260 damage and for this guy yeah, he got not very lucky Okay, we've got 3000 and we win this round. I would not receive crate because my swords are full, but basically that's how it goes. Also notice that at the left I got 20 meadows and meadows they uh, affect your rank. So the more meadows you have the higher your rank and this will become valuable when you join a clan. So. Um, Let's go to the leaderboards and I will show you what I mean. So currently, if to look at the champion league, I am number four. <laughs> there are three really cool guys in front of me. Oh, and T-Bag in Savage from YouTube, um, he's number five. You, you should check his channel. He's really good at this game, he's playing on Android and if I'm not mistaken he's playing with a gamepad. I might be wrong. So um, you can see that I have currently 2652 meadows and to get to the legendary league I just need to reach 3000. So yeah, if we look at the top players, so this guy Nomadic, he has 38000. He has been playing that has for a very long time from almost the very beginning when we just released beta, he joined. So he's followed by Hazard, <laughs> a very active player indeed, and uh, Dead Toast. And also come two brothers from uh, New Zealand, Mr. Pro BBY and NDBDB. <laughs> and then AeroBR. And Nelly is on number 8. Wow, this is actually like, pretty awesome because uh, we chat with these uh, players on Discord. And if you also want to chat on Discord, then you go to the account page and you can go to Discord. And then you can talk to developers, you can submit your suggestions or report some bugs, ask your questions. Yeah, just come chat with us. We are always happy to receive some good feedback about the game. If you just want to practice a little bit, then uh, in the either either in here on inventory screen you can just enter training by pressing this training button on the left, or you can uh, choose any weapon. For example, I will take this uh, UMG Orbital minigun, right, which already has platinum skin attached to it, which is a legendary skin. So I can go to this weapon page and then I can press try, which will load the training grounds and where you can try your weapon, run, uh, run around, shoot some aliens and 
why training ground is convenient is because you can customize your settings a little bit. So let me show you. Here, if you go to the settings, there are some uh, graphic settings you can tweak. If a game is not performing that great on your device, you can disable stuff like fog, real-time lighting, lens flares, environment particles. This helps a lot to speed up the game. And on Android, you can also decrease resolution. Alright, for the controls, I have sensitivity is way too low. I have noticed it while playing, it was just a little bit uncomfortable. So, yeah, I will just crank up my sensitivity. Here everything looks good and you can also customize your HUD. So what I like to do is position buttons like this. So this guy here is for aiming with sniper rifle. I'm not using those, so I'll just put it somewhere far away. But if you want to bring it back, just press reset and to reset everything. Okay, so I will put my grenade a little bit here, the saber there, reload there. Yeah, I prefer, prefer this kind of layout because this way I can yeah, run and look around and then if I want to shoot then I will shoot and if I want to reload it's also easy and grenade is at hand as well, switch weapons it, yeah, everything is just where I want it to oh, I did not show you the training ground okay, so this is shooting range where you can shoot at targets and then you can see damage you are dealing so you you will see those digits flying away so this is damage per bullet for my minigun as for the shotgun boom so 22 damage per pallet I believe there are 10 pallets in shotgun or 12 so each one is dealing 22 so you can imagine it will just rip your enemies apart right so this blue signage indicates the melee training so let's go here and we equip the sword immediately and then we just deal 100 instant damage. So this will kill your enemy with one hit. So sword is good. Whoa. This is hilarious. I don't know what is this. And I don't know why it happened. You know what, actually I think I know why it happened. Alright, now we have to run with this very very slow minigun, but I have just found a good bug, which we will have to fix. Right, moving on, so this is infected simulation, where we will turn into the infected mutant, and we have to basically destroy these targets. So plane is infected is tricky, uh, so let me show you, if I'm near this target here, and then I press attack, it would not destroy it. So you have to be... You have to keep your target right in front of you, and then when you press attack, it will destroy them. Even if you are a little bit far away, you can still destroy them. Like that. So it's a little bit tricky, it takes time to get used to it, but nevertheless, it's still uh, possible to, in to infect, and it's one hit instant infection. So in the infected mode, just use the attack like that. And finally, this is the pit of the arena where you can just play with the AI. Just kill them. So you can see how great the minigun is. You just destroy everything. And then when you are out of ammo, just switch to your secondary weapon and then keep shooting at them. After done, just go go out to main menu and um, let's maybe update my loadout a little bit let me grab you know it's actually fine I will just change skin for my character here I'll get a golden one also when you sign up for the beta you will get the exclusive beta skin which looks like this And it's only for those who have uh, beta accounts. Okay, we'll get my typical golden IDD soldier. And... Yeah, I think we're good. Um, maybe I will show you how to play with um, C4 Explosive this time. 
Let me see if I can spot any live, live game here. All right, we have TDM, Team Deathmatch. Let's play one and see how this goes. Okay, we have a nice three players versus three, and this is a map called Outpost. It's a very tight map, so there is a lot of... All right, I think we already have to start killing people. I will throw the C4 over there, because there is already enemy spawning, and they're shooting. So, the freshly spawned enemies, they will have short invulnerability period. So, uh, it's to prevent uh, spawn camping. So, better don't spawn camp. Well, it's never, it's, it's never good. Yeah, it's kind of unfair gameplay. I know this is our thing to fix as developers, but just try not to spawn camp. Okay, seems that team doesn't stand a chance at all. Like, we are completely destroying them. I will get a sword and see. And see if I can get, get anybody with the sword. This will be a very short match, because I can see we are already at 11 points. And 3 versus 3, so it's... So it's still 15 points. Oh, oh, oh! No! Go away, go away, go away! Okay, they got me, but I hope that my teammate can also do some damage there. Alright, 14, one more, and we are done with this one. Faster, faster, boom! Okay, we got him. Your team won. I would not get crate again, because my crate swords are full. Which is fine, because my weapons are already level 5 and 6, and probably it's more than these guys have here. But, to be honest, my pin is around 300 to the US server, so... Yeah, maybe it's fair, maybe it's not. Um, I hope that this video gave you a little bit of insight what Death Hats is about, and how the economy behind it works. There is no pay to win component so basically players who don't spend any money on the game they can level up successfully they can have all the weapons all the skins they want it just takes some time and I have been playing for this game on this account for okay I have played for one day in 14 hours so this is 764 games and started this account on 21st of February, so which is like two months ago, and I already have so much stuff unlocked. So you can see that with uh, a little bit of dedication, you can get everything. Yeah, I hope you I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, then please post them um, in the comments or just go to Discord. Uh, there will be a link in description, and then to talk to us. We are there, we are reading the Discord even on weekends and holidays because we really, really appreciate our players and the good feedback. So uh, just go get in touch. Okay, uh, see you in the next videos. Also, let me know what you think about this one. If there is anything I can improve or you have any feedback or suggestions for the videos or for the upcoming channel and also check my other videos there is some good gameplay footage of deadheads okay good luck have fun